As we saw in the previous two lessons, rehabilitation robots can generally be categorized as upper limb rehabilitation robots and lower limb rehabilitation robots. No matter which part of the body they are targeting to rehabilitate, they can provide four different types of physical therapy that should be chosen based on the patient's needs. They are passive rehabilitation, active assisted rehabilitation, active resisted rehabilitation, and bilateral manipulation. Passive rehabilitation can be used at the early stages of the impairment where the affected limb has no movement. In this type of therapy, the robot moves the affected limb of the patient through a predefined injury-free trajectory a couple of times during each session and the patient does no effort to help the robot perform the task. This type of therapy is possible with all rehabilitation robots. For instance, in this video, you can see passive rehabilitation provided by an endefector-based robot. This video shows the passive training mode implemented for an ankle rehabilitation robot. Researchers conducted a clinical study where three subjects were involved in a 40-minute passive rehabilitation session. They concluded that passive therapy has the ability to reduce the spasms and the stiffness of the affected limb to a great deal. In active assisted rehabilitation mode, the patient initiates the movement and is partially assisted by the rehabilitation robot if she or he is unable to complete the movement. In this type, the robot uh, looks for a signal from the patient, such as an electromyogram or EMG to perform the movement. For instance, Gloreha Sinfonia is an upper limb rehabilitation robot that detects the movements of the patient and hand and assists the patient if necessary. This type of therapy is for patients who have a level of control over the movement of their limbs and can initiate the movement by themselves. A clinical study on eight subjects for 18 one-hour sessions in the course of six weeks showed that the movement of the impaired limb has significantly improved after this type of therapy. In active resisted training mode, the patient initiates the movement and is resisted by the robotic device to challenge the patient's movement. MIT Manus, with the commercial name in motion, which is an endefector based upper uh, rehabilitation robot, applied all of the passive, active assisted, and active resisted training modes to enhance the training outcomes. Researchers conducted active resisted training on eight subjects for 18 one hour session treatments, and their goal was to improve the long term strengths of the arm. Bilateral manipulation is a type of training that is inspired by mirror therapy where a mirror is put beside the unaffected limb that blocks the patient's view of the affected limb and creates the illusion that both limbs are working properly. This creates visual stimulation and is proven to affect the outcome of the training. In robot-assisted mirror training, the impaired limb mirrors or copies the movement of the functional limb. The movement of the functional limb is monitored by sensors in real time and then copied to the affected limb. Research showed that this type of training can significantly improve the impaired hemisphere of the brain and motor functions. One or a combination of these training modalities can be used to treat patients at different stages of disabilities or impairments.